Okay, welcome to day 18 of 365 daily doses of marketing. Today is a video because I want to show you something really cool that I'm not sure a lot of people know exist. So I am hoping that you have a Facebook page set up in order to help you promote your practice. If that is the case, I'm also hoping that you have come across the insights tab because this is the bit where all the goodness happens. This is the bit that informs your practice with your page. This is the bit that helps you understand what you need to do more of and what you need to do less of. And it shows you all of these different elements of data that you can click on individually and it will give you more data, okay? So you need to be using this proactively in order to inform the stuff you're doing with your page. Now my, diet, my data here is dire because this is an old page I don't use anymore, which is quite funny that my total page view has gone up by 67% in the last week, which is quite good fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Scroll down from your, once you click on the insights tab, scroll down and if you have 100 likes or more on your page, you will have this function. You have to have 100 likes on your page before you get access to this function, okay? So if you have, it will show up here. And here is where you can list a whole heap of pages that you are interested in following and, and just kind of tracking. Um, this is not people, this is other business pages. So you simply click on the button here to add pages and then you can choose all sorts. You can do a search and you can select the ones that you want to watch. So, and but you need to be then mindful that you need to keep coming back to look at this data because this data is going to help you um, find out who's doing great things, who's not doing so great things and the people who are doing great things, what are they doing that's getting them the traction on Facebook. So here you can see that um, today or this week, Helen has got some amazing traction from a relatively small number of posts. Okay, so she's posted 16 posts, which I suppose it's not relatively small, it's a reasonable big number of posts. But look at the traction she's getting compared to the other people, the other businesses that I'm following. So she's got 44 lots of engagement from 16 posts. So I would then jump over to Helen's uh, Facebook page and have a look at see what she's been doing this week and what has been engaging with her audience because her audience are my audience. So this is a really great way of having a look at people in your industry, competitors, um, people that are not in your industry but you think are doing great things on Facebook and you might be able to learn from. So you can simply add them to this list of pages you're watching and then hop over every kind of couple of weeks and have a look at the data, see who's doing, you know, this, who's going up, who's going down. If anybody's done a massive jump this week, I suggest you go in and have a look at their page and see what they've been doing and decide whether you think that tactic is going to help you um, make your Facebook page more engaging, um, get you more likes, more followers, all that sort of stuff. So that is it. That is day 18 of 365 daily doses of marketing. A bit of market research.